Good morning. Good morning. It's literally raining so much right now. I was just chilling and the rain just started pouring. But I do love a good rainy day. Not only is it a rainy day, but it's also a Sunday. So it's a relaxed day, a chill day before the week resets and we start again. So today I just kind of wanted to vlog my chill day. I need to go grocery shopping. I gotta work out, do those kind of things. And I thought it would be fun to just vlog. And I also want to talk to you guys about why I failed 75 hard. So today is actually my last day of my 28 day Chloe Ting transformation video doing her program. But first I think I'm going to finish editing the video I'm posting today and then I will do my workout. Okay, I finished that. Also, I just put on this really cute shirt that Charlie got for me, a little spooky shirt. I think it's so cute. Probably won't wear it for long though. I just, I actually grabbed the wrong shirt I meant to put this on. I don't wanna get this one all sweaty. Also, so a couple days ago, I was helping Charlie and Juan move, and so a lot of stuff that Charlie wants here for when she moves here, we just went ahead and brought here, such as this mirror, so now I have another full body mirror, and this one's in my living room. And then like all that is like Christmas decorations and stuff that I can use, since she won't need it and like literally like Juan's Xbox because he can't take it. So I'm just gonna kind of keep everything here for the next year and then when Charlie lives here. Oh my gosh, I still have this like tag on this. Oops, like that is literally a Christmas tree. All right, so I think I'm ready to talk about why I failed 75 hard and potentially why I failed kind of on purpose and why I'm not gonna start again. So I did 10 days of 75 hard, just over a week. I was on day 11 and I was up at my friends because I was helping them move. And this was like an all day thing. Like we woke up and we were moving stuff like all day. I didn't get, and then we ended up going out to eat and it was the last time that we were gonna see Juan and the last time I'd see Charlie for a couple months, potentially unless we visit each other. And I didn't get home until like 9 p.m. And I didn't drive, I rode with my friends up there. So this is where the fail comes in. <laughs> So we didn't have any water at the house and I didn't want to like make someone go drive me to the gas station to get water and then buy a bunch of water bottles to be able to drink my gallon of water. It was just like super inconvenient. I also wasn't gonna be like, sorry guys, I can't help move. I need to do two workouts. And like, yeah, the moving could have probably counted as both my workouts, especially because I was outside for a lot of it when we got to the storage unit to move stuff. But I don't know, it just, felt almost like cheating. I never had time to read my 10 pages. Yeah, I could have done it when I got home. I understand that the point of it is to push through even when there's challenges in life, but here's my take on it. I understand that this challenge is meant to be super hard and not everyone is supposed to do it, but I also think that if you try it and don't complete it or you fail, that you don't need to be upset at yourself at all because this is something that's super hard and not for everyone. And here's the main reason I kind of decided, because I definitely could have pushed through and done it that day, for sure. But I decided not to because of the gallon of water. And this is where like a lot of my problems came in. I'm 5'1", like I'm a pretty small girl and drinking Drinking a gallon of water a day was so excessive. I genuinely think it was not good for me. I did a bunch of research and I actually had a lot of you guys commenting saying how concerned you were with like how often I said I was going to the bathroom and like just showing a lot of symptoms of drinking too many liquids. Not only was I drinking a gallon of water, which is 128 ounces of liquid, I was also having maybe a 12 ounce or 24 ounce coffee every couple days. And you know, some days I might have like a Coke Zero or after my gallon of water, I'd be in bed because I already finished I shouldn't have to drink some more water just because I'm a little thirsty. And that is so much liquid to be putting into your body. So I started doing some research and everything I read recommended that women shouldn't be drinking more than, I think it said 100 ounces of liquid, including all liquids in the day. And that a lot of water comes from the foods that you eat anyway, so you really don't need to be drinking a gallon of water. It's recommended that you drink half your body weight in ounces and 128 ounces was way more than half my body weight. They also say not to drink more than, I believe, 33 ounces per hour. And there'd be some nights where I had so much water left, I literally just had to start chugging it. And I would drink like 60 ounces in an hour. And I would get super, super bloated and my stomach would be hurting and I'd be in like pain. I also had to go pee like literally every 10 to 30 minutes. On my road trip, I had to stop like six times 
on a five hour trip. I would go on my 45 minute walks and have to stop in the bathroom like every two or three laps. And I hadn't even drank that much water that day yet. So I think I was just way, way over hydrating. For me personally, I think drinking around half a gallon would be perfect, just enough water for the day. And I think a gallon was a little bit excessive. And this is like one of the rules that I'm like, why is this a rule? Because the man who created this, I mean, he's like a big guy, like he's super buff and I'm pretty sure he's tall. And like, yeah, he could drink a gallon, no problem, no issues. But then someone like me literally can't do it because drinking a gallon of water is harmful and it can lead to a lot of other bad things. Worst case scenario, you could literally die, drown yourself, go into a coma, um, hurt your kidneys, like all these things if you're literally drinking too much water every day. And yeah, it may not affect me over a week or two weeks, three weeks, but like 75 days, like two and a half months of doing that, I just feel like wasn't going to be healthy for me. And then here's my other take, the two 45 minute workouts. I love that. I love the two workouts. I love that one has to be outside. I think that is so good, especially for mental health, getting outside, getting those sun rays, vitamin D, I think that's awesome. But 45 minutes, like why exactly does it have to be 45 minutes? I think two 30 minute workouts would be great. Like you can get a really solid workout in in just 30 minutes. Like I would be doing my Chloe Teen workouts and I would finish at around that 30, 35 minute mark. And then like I have 10 minutes and I'm just like wasting time just doing little things when I could have just gone hard for 30 minutes and I'm done. I think the extra 15 minutes or 10 minutes was a little unnecessary. I understand where Andy Priscilla was coming from with this though. Like it's supposed to push you past your limit and everything. And that's totally cool. I think people, if they want to do this challenge, they totally should. And for me, I knew all of this going into it. Like I'd watched videos about people saying like, hey, don't do it. Or I did it. And this is why I wouldn't recommend it. And kind of talking about these things in particular. But I just thought, hey, what if this actually is a really good thing for me? I'm just going to try it. I didn't put any pressure on myself. So when I failed, I wasn't like super disappointed in myself because I was like kind of doing like a trial run for the first like week or two. And if it wasn't going to work out, I was going to do something else because it's not worth harming myself over that. Um, I love the reading every day. I don't really understand exactly the 10 pages. For me, I wish it was just like a chapter because sometimes my chapters would be eight pages and then I'm roughly to read two pages of the next chapter. And this might be a stupid little thing, but it threw me off because I'm like, I finished the chapter. I either need to read the whole next one or be done. I don't want to read a whole next one. And then I'd have to read two pages. It was just like awkward. <laughs> and I know these like little like nitpicking things, but this is just why 75 hard doesn't work for me. So here's what I'm doing instead. I'm basically going to keep the same things. I'm going to be doing two workouts a day because I love the outside workout. I'll be going on my, on my walks every day. I've actually come to love that. But I also want to either be doing HIIT workouts or lifting weights on top of that. Also, I'm not going to put a ton of pressure that I cannot miss a single day or I have to start over because I think that's just an unhealthy mindset to give myself personally because I'm trying to have a lifestyle change and be able to do this for the the rest of my life for the rest of the year not just 75 days and I understand that 75 hard isn't meant to be a sustainable thing but I would rather just work on sustainability than to just do some like quick fix change myself in 75 days and then have to learn how to do sustainable things afterwards. I don't like the super strict rules because being strict with myself ends up with a lot of guilt and pressure on myself, which causes anxiety for me when I could just say, hey, I'm going to try to do two workouts, you know, five to six days a week. If I need a rest day, then I'll just go on my walk or do something light. I think another thing is I found myself being really selfish during 75 hard, like, hey, all of my friends, you need to change your schedule to fit mine because I need to make sure that I go on a 45 minute walk today and do a 45 minute workout today. And I also need to make sure that I have water to fill up my water so we need to stop somewhere so I can fill it up. Also, we're gonna have to stop like 20 times everywhere we go because I have to pee because I'm drinking so much water. It just felt all about me. And it's like when my friends needed me, like, hey, we need you because we're moving and we need help. I didn't want it to be about me. Like I was there to help them. And I think that over the course of 75 days, life happens and sometimes you can't always fit in your selfish needs of fitness and stuff like that over your friends or family and it might not be that deep to some people that's totally cool it's whatever so it just felt a little selfish and like things were all about me and also like my mind was constantly thinking about 75 hard it was the only thing I could think about every single day from when I woke up to when I went to bed did I do it did I do it did I do it good enough did I accidentally cheat somehow all of that. That being said, I do think it was a good push to help me get started. Like I'm counting my calories and I'm 
you know, exercising a lot more and I'm reading. Like it had like a nice little push for me, but it's not something that I would want, want myself to do for 75 days because it's so strict and that's just not gonna be good for me. I want fitness to be a lifestyle and in life things happen and you sometimes can't do what you want to do and even sometimes can't do what you prioritize because life gets in the way. And I don't wanna have to be like, oh my gosh, I've done 60 days and because all of these things in life happened, I failed because like I felt like oh day 11 I failed but like I just did that for 10 days in a row two workouts drinking a gallon of water reading that's a great accomplishment and it is in no way a failure at all and so I think that mindset of if I don't do it for this amount of time I fail and have to start over would not be good for me I need something that like wow I did that for a month I did that for two weeks okay I messed up one day that's fine I'll get back up tomorrow and keep going because that's life you just keep going and that's what makes it sustainable and I don't want to put so much pressure on myself so I hope that kind of wraps it up that's just why I personally am not gonna be doing 75 hard and this is just honestly more props to people who do it that's awesome that's amazing proud of you I hope everyone who tries succeeds and even if you only make it a couple of days that's a success in my mind even if you fail on day 74 it is still a success anyway let's continue with today's vlog that's actually kind of it for today's video but I want to show you guys something real quick ignore my laundry machine going right now um I made dinner in my instapot for the first time in like forever and let me show you what I made so I made this It's literally just like sausage, potatoes, and green beans. This took me, not even kidding you, like two minutes to prepare. And then I just put it in the Instant Pot. It took like 10 minutes to cook. And it's enough to feed like four people. And it's so filling and so good. So I'll leave the link to that website down below if you want to use it. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Also, I'm going to Utah this week. So I'll have some fun content coming with Dallas and Ellie and just like fall colors and mountains and all that fun stuff. So. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.